Yo, yo, people, welcome back to Runs Tech Hub. And today I'm going to be comparing the main four AI models, or what I would class them as, what they should be classed as LLMs, large language models. And the four I'm going to be focusing are Google's Gemini, we have OpenAI's ChatGPT, we have Anthropic's Cloud AI, and we have Microsoft Copilot. Why do I want to do this? I want to see how well they work for a technical stroke programming like project, like the one I've been wanting to work on for a very long time. So I'm going to give you a brief introduction of what the project is, so that what the end goal is, is to create an OCR system. So not OCR, the exam board, but an optical character recognition system that queries a remote database and if there's a flag in one of the tables it returns an alert if there's no flag it just shows normal details that's generally what i want to do why do i want to do this it's been a project of mine in my head for a very very long time i've never really had the time to sit down and do it properly so i think now with ai or llms where they are i can ask it to code me this section help me code that section help me to create a database schema for this or for that i think it could be a really good test to see which one of these four systems so again we have google gemini we have chat gpt we have cloud ai and we have microsoft of Copilot. I think, this is just my initial impressions, I think it's, the winners are going to be um, ChatGPT or Cloud AI. I think Google might come in a nice third and Microsoft Copilot would probably come in last. But again, most of them will probably get the job done to a decent enough level. So let's get started. So again, let me just give a quick rundown of what the system roughly needs to be able to do. I need this done in Python because that's a language I'm most familiar with. I know C or C++ would be very, very fast. However, Python is, is a lot easier to prototype with. So I'm going to stick to Python for now. I need it to do live OCR. So that's live optical character recognition and what this means again is i'm going to have some form of camera attached to a mini pc or a raspberry pi and then that camera is going to be streaming a live video and anything that goes across the screen in my case is going to be a license plate any license plate numbers that go across the screen that go in front of the camera is going to read that convert it to text use that text to query a database and to see if in the table that has the flag if a flag is there if something has happened so for example let's just say for argument's sake the car was stolen the car was reported stolen the car was reported as being in an accident the car was reported as running from the police whatever the case is this is just a pet project of mine this is not going to be anything crazy i just wanted to see if i could do this um it's supposed to query the sql database um the two tables are going to be maybe driver information and vehicle information and maybe another one that has the, um, the vehicle flag so if something did happen that flag is going to be there and again if that flag is present it should show something on the user end so let's say this is in a cop car for example right if they have a screen there and something goes across the screen it should flash up something on screen to say i don't know chase this person stop this person search this car whatever the case is and you might be thinking why do i want to do a project like this i think it's a cool project to do especially for someone trying to have a portfolio of projects that they've done i'm trying to break into the world of aws um, cloud architecture so uh, having a mini architecture project like this where i i um, create a database schema i put my database on aws or azure or gcp and then i have to query the database return the results i think it's a nice project to work on so if you're a student trying to get some projects up this might be a really cool one as well it should be very relatively easy because again i might be using a raspberry pi a usb camera attached and really and truly that's all i should need on the edge computing side obviously i'll need the internet as well but that's a basic thing so the first question i have or the first statement i have here this is something i'm going to copy and paste into the llm so gemini again chat gpt cloud ai and copilot i need help choosing an open source sql database that is good for remote access and can scale if necessary now let me give some context as much as possible here i want it to be sql because i want to be able to query it relatively quickly i'm not a big fan or i don't know much about no sql databases there's nothing wrong with them but i know sql in my head and this just makes sense to use as an sql da database i'm not saying a no sql database won't work i'm sure it would work if done correctly however this is the method i've chosen to use why is it why does it need to have remote access let's imagine that this raspberry pi type device a mini computer a microcomputer is out in the world um it's attached to the car bonnet of a police car it has a camera it's being powered every car that they go past it needs to query the database and it cannot be a local database and the reason it cannot be a local database people are going to be updating the database every hour every half an hour if it's a local database it will have information or data from from when the person took the car this morning so that's why it needs to be a remote database on a server somewhere that's been updated by people in the office or people on the road so i can always get the latest information what does it need to be able to scale it needs to be able to scale simply because this might become a real thing i'm not saying it will become a real thing but let's just say for argument's sake um i do it and somebody loves it they buy it they should be able to scale this out in a way where they could have as many pcs or many raspberry Pis connected to the database as is necessary to query the database to get the information that they want so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste this into gemini first paste it there then i'm going to also paste this into chat gpt i'm going to paste this into cloud ai and I'm going to paste this into Copilot. Then I'm going to go over and review all the answers that we have. Just to give a heads up, I knew that the answer was going to be PostgreSQL. That is probably the best one as of making this video in December 2024. I'm not saying that other databases won't do the job fine, but I think PostgreSQL, it needs to be open source as well. So PostgreSQL is probably going to be the best one. They've all said that. So if I go to Gemini, number one is PostgreSQL. Um, number two, again, for ChatGPT is PostgreSQL. Number three is for Cloud AI, PostgreSQL as well. And number four is PostgreSQL as well. So 
So all of them gave relatively good answers. Um, they all give alternatives as well. So it's not just PostgreSQL. Then they've said why this might be a good option as well. I don't think SQL will be good for this because SQL is a single file database. Scaling the SQL might not be the best for this kind of project. All right. Question number two says MySQL or PostgreSQL, which, which is better for remote access for multiple client devices? So again, I assume or I think it's going to be PostgreSQL, but let's see what each of them come back with. So Gemini pasted there. ChatGPT paste the same question there. Cloud AI, I'm going to paste the same question there. And for Microsoft Copilot, paste the same question there. So let's see. MySQL, what Gemini has done here is gone ahead and given me reasons why both of these could be used. But down here in the summary, it says why one might be preferred over the other one. So for example, for simpler setup, if your primary concern is ease of initial configuration, you need to use MySQL. Again, that's not really the issue. And then it says if you anticipate a very high number of concurrent connections, then maybe you want to use PostgreSQL. So I'm probably going to go with Postgres. If I go to ChatGPT, PostgreSQL, why choose it? And again, it gives us examples why scalability, remote access. At the moment, I don't think we have any winners because they've all given me relatively similar information. And again, I am copying and pasting the same question. So I'm expecting stuff similar. Um, they've all justified why I could use one over the other. So I will give all of these away. No one's won anything so far. Please help me create a database schema for a driver information table. Maybe I should put car driver information table. So I'm going to copy all of this now and do the same thing again. A database schema for people who don't understand is what is a database? What is the table or the database going to have? What kind of data? So for example, for a car driver database, I'm going to make the assumption name, age, gender, date of birth, the car that they drive. And each thing is going to have a specific data type. So for example, name is probably going to be text. Age is probably going to be integer. So a whole number. Height is probably going to be float or double. So a decimal point number. Pasting into Google Gemini. Pasting into chat GPT. Let me scroll all the way down. Or oh, network error. All right, let's refresh that. Paste in here. And then I'm going to paste in Cloud AI, paste in Cloud AI, and then paste into Microsoft Copilot. Let's go back to Gemini and see what we have. So it's given us some decent stuff here. I think this is pretty decent. So for driver ID, that's going to be our primary key, obviously. We're going to have auto key. First name is going to be Varchar. Yep, this is all fine. Seems okay. Address is text. Phone number is Varchar. Email Varchar. License plate number Varchar. It needs to be unique. License plate expiry date. Yep, everything seems okay so far. Now let me go over to Chat GPT. Oh, it's still writing. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, more or less the same kind of thing. Here we have Chat GPT's answer. Very similar to Gemini and I would say they're both equal again nothing stands out from chat GPT's answer that Google Gemini's didn't have uh, let's go to cloud AI and let's see what it's done here create driver table yep varchar 30 yep yep more or less exactly the same thing again nothing stands out so again none of these are winning so I think these have gotten so good whichever one of these you choose you should be able to complete whatever project you have because again this is a semi complex thing I'm not just asking it general questions I'm being specific on what I wanted to do Microsoft Copilot yeah again very similar this probably has the least amount of data in that table but again this is definitely usable after reviewing what i just got from all of these i think gemini and cloud ai are neck and neck they've given me some nice extra information here which microsoft copilot does not give and the information that's given extra which actually gps chat gpt hasn't given me is when this table information was created and the timestamp of when it was updated as well that's going to be very very important for an sql database like this because i want to know who updated it last when they updated it time there should be a log somewhere of everything that was done so this is quite good so gemini and cloud ai are neck and neck in my opinion so far next i'm going to ask please help me to create a database schema for a car information table similar to what we did before but this time instead of asking for driver details i'm asking for car details because these are two of the tables i think the database must have driver details must be separate from car details so that when we query we can query both tables and get the information back that we want so i'm going to paste this in gemini paste this in chat gpt and again i'm assuming both of, well not both i'm assuming all of these will give me similar answers like it's done before because all of these have given really good answers perfect answers again nothing at all wrong with this this seems perfect to me uh, if i go over to chat gpt yep more or less the same thing again seems perfect to me all of these can be used no issues with it. i like how this kind of separated the engine type let me check gemini nothing on engine type here this is quite good the fact that this picked up on the fact that it can be or should be petrol uh, diesel electric or hybrid this is quite good let's see if the others have done that so let's go over to cloud ai um ooh, this has quite a bit okay engine type engine displacement oh wow geez louise all right this has quite a bit but i still think chat gpt probably takes a crown on this one microsoft copilot very basic basic very basic but again still usable as a starting point this could just be a prototype and this would be very very usable as a prototype i think for this round i would have to 
say ChatGPT came first. So I would say a win for that one there. ChatGPT has won this question here, but just because it picked out or, or identified that engine type might be something that's useful to have here. Because again, in 2024, we do have petrol, diesel, electric, and hybrid. I think I'm going to go ahead and skip this question here. When I was writing this document, it came to my head, but to be fair, the information that these LLMs are provided for the tables that I want seem quite comprehensive. If I can think of something, I'll come back to it later on. Next question says, please help me write Python 3 code to create a MySQL or PostgreSQL database using the above database schemas for both driver information and car driver information. I'm going to remove the MySQL stuff because I think we've agreed so far and all of them have agreed as well that PostgreSQL might be the better option for this. So if I go ahead and copy this and I'm going to paste it into Gemini, I'm going to paste this into ChatGPT, press enter, paste this into Claude. Then I'm going to also paste this into Microsoft Copilot. And again, I'm expecting these to return very quick results, creating a Python PostgreSQL database or MySQL database is something that's out there on the internet. It's been there for a very long time. So I'm not expecting this to take long at all. So ChatGPT, I really like how Gemini has done it in a object oriented esque I like how Gemini has done this. It's done it in a very object oriented esque way where we have functions, we have our init method at the very bottom. So very cleanly written code. Let's look at ChatGPT. Ooh, this looks different. All right, I haven't seen this before. So let's see. Yep, all seems good. It's done that in function there. Function, one try block here, except, okay. So not as cleanly written in my opinion as um, what we have in Gemini, but ChatGPT looking very good again. Let's look at Claude. Claude, how has Claude done it? One massive file, I think. Yep, try with with so one single function again for Claude. Uh, am I wrong? No, I'm, I'm wrong. Two separate functions, three. Okay, so it's done everything in separate functions, just like what we expect to do in an object oriented way. I'm not very good at object oriented programming, but I can understand stuff when I see it. So again, very clean. Copilot, let's see. You just stuck everything in a single. All right, I think at the moment I might actually kick Microsoft Copilot out. It's not doing very well. It's not doing bad, but compared to the other three, it's not doing, it's not up to scratch to what they are doing. But again, this is expected. And this is why I find it really strange that Microsoft thinks it's okay to charge people. I think it's 19 or 18, 99 a month for using Copilot when we have Gemini, which is roughly the same price. And you get two terabytes of storage as well. Chat GPT, which is a leader at the moment, just because of maybe how they've been marketed. And Cloud AI is amazing as well. So I find it difficult to understand how Microsoft is going to get Copilot subscription up other than bundling this in with your Office 365 subscriptions. And you can just use it that way. So that might make a bit more sense. And for this one, I think I'm going to have to give the win of this section here. So this is again, using Python code to create the database. I'm going to have to give this to Cloud AI. It had the most functions, which means it's most cleanly written. So it's more compartmentalized. Whereas something like Copilot just has everything all at once. Now, this is again, really good for prototyping just to check if everything works fine. You can just drop it in a Python file, run it. If it works, you're good to go. But if you're trying to do a large scale project over a very long time, this using functions and using init methods would be definitely the best way to do this. Now, the next question is I have a general idea of the database. I want to use a database schema to use and how to do this in Python. So next question is, can you please give me the steps for installing and configuring PostgreSQL on a Linux server running the latest version of Debian? So December, 2014, I need to do this using SSH from a Windows laptop. So again, it should be remembering everything I've done. And because I now need the steps for installing the thing I asked for at the very beginning, let's see how well the memory can go back and say, okay, maybe the person wants me to do this. So I'm going to copy this. And again, same process, Gemini, it's, everything is in the same chat. So it should have enough memory to know what I need to do. Chat GPT, this is going to be uh, Claude. And finally, we have Copilot. I'm expecting this to be relatively easy for every one of them, simply because again, this information has been out there for a very, very long time on the internet. So it shouldn't be too hard. All right. So these are the results from Google Gemini. So enable SSH connection, update package list, install PostgreSQL, switch to the PostgreSQL user. Uh, what, what was that? That was number four. Number five, set the password. Yep. Exit the PostgreSQL terminal, configure remote access if needed. Uh, that's pretty much. Oh no, here we go. Restart PostgreSQL, configure the firewall, um, connect from your Windows laptop, pretty decent there. And for ChatGPT, more or less the same thing. Yep, install PostgreSQL, yep, configure PostgreSQL, yep, enable remote access, number six, open firewall ports, step seven, remote connection. Yep, more or less the same thing from all of them. Ah, oh, surprisingly, I think Copilot has the cleanest output. I'm not sure if it has the best detail, but the cleanest output. And again, they were all able to identify that I didn't need the steps for installing Debian, simply the steps for installing PostgreSQL on Debian. So that was quite good as well. They all pretty much gave me the same answers. So I think I'm going to go with uh, Copilot simply because the output looked a bit cleaner, less text. It tells me exactly what this step is for. I can go and copy this really easily. The others I would say either are a bit too wordy or not wordy enough. So I think Copilot actually wins this one. Next question. It says, is there another table that could be added that would 
fit the following scenario. I would like a system to use optical character recognition from a live video stream of car license plates. The details from the license plate should be checked against the details in a remote database. If there is a reported incident with the car, there should be some information presented to the end user. I haven't given any information what the end user is going to be using. If there's going to be a screen, if it's going to be a Python uh, script, if it's going to be the database itself, I haven't given anything. So let's see what they come up with again. Gemini, paste, chat GPT, paste. Uh, Claude AI paste there. Let's close this side. And for Copilot, let's paste. Let's see what they come up. So far, I'm impressed with Gemini 2. It says adding an incident table might be really good for doing this. And it's giving me exactly what I need to add an incident table. So this to me seems perfect so far. I'm not going to read through everything. Just having a quick glance of the information, it seems good to go. It's also giving me the SQL query I need to run to get the information I need back on the end user's device. So this is pretty good. Chat GPT. Let me scroll all the way back up to my question. Vehicle incidents. Yeah done more or less the same thing and it's given the sql query as well pretty nice pretty clean okay let's go over to my question is here for claude uh, i'll design additional table schema license plate recognition okay license plate incidents okay there we go so an incident table as well pretty similar it tells the location of the incident it gives all of that information pretty decent all right i think they've all won to be fair oh okay uh this is probably again the one with the least amount of information but sometimes less is better and again i repeat if prototyping this and you wanted to test it really quickly this might be the better option but if you you want a detailed explanation so you can go ahead and do a really good write-up you might want to go with the others uh pff, this is a hard one honestly i would not be able to choose between chat gpt and google gemini they're pretty much the same thing i would say cloud ai comes in a nice second for me and again i can't even justify why <laughs> i probably just like the output of gemini more well cloud ai does have every single thing so maybe actually all of these three have one and again copilot sits in the back there's nothing wrong with it but when you're doing a project like this more detail might be more important or less detail might be important for me i would say having the explanations there with more detail is definitely a benefit my conclusion is not going to be what most people want to hear i don't think any of these are objectively better than the other one i think they give enough detail based on the prompt and you can always dig in to get more information even with something like microsoft copilot that doesn't seem to give much if i asked it more questions i'm sure it would give me more answers and everything that was given from a microsoft copilot even though i think for this specific scenario it's not been the best thing every piece of information that it's given me so far has been good and in in my opinion usable i would say the top two i was probably right the top two are chat gpt and gemini cloud comes in a nice close second and again everything from cloud would work fine just the same as i said for microsoft copilot i would say gemini and chat gpt are leading the pack especially for the explanations and the detail that it goes into thanks for watching hopefully that was useful fun or informative so catch me next time